500 years ago in Israel, there was a question that came about in front of two rabbis. The question was, if we have a non-Jew that lives in Israel and he owns the land in Israel, the question is, if the fruit that he that he grows, do they become holy or not? One side would say that because that own the non-Jew owns it, so it doesn't become holy. On the other hand, we say, because it's grown in Israel, it becomes holy. If we go to a store, you'll see it. It says Yud Nun Shmita. It means Yevum Nochri Shmita. So the question is, does it become holy or not? There was a rabbi, famous rabbi, Beis Yosef, that he wrote the Shulchan Aruch, and he he quotes that because it belongs to because it belongs to a goy, it's not holy. On the other hand, the Mabit held no. Because it belongs to a Jew, because it, it was grown in Israel, so the fruit automatically become holy, even though it belongs to a goy, a non-Jew. Because it was grown in Israel, the fruit become holy. There was two, two sides. Until, so most people in Israel held like the Beis Yosef that it doesn't become holy. Until the Chazonish came to Israel, Chazonish, when he came to Israel, he quoted that we should hold like the Mabit, that the fruit should become holy. And a lot of people started holding like the Chazonish, but today we have also a lot of people that hold like the Beis Yosef, that the fruit aren't holy. There's a lot of differences between these two opinions. One difference is, is the fruit holy or not holy? The second difference is, if we're allowed to make business out of these fruit or not. According to the Beis Yosef, if you go like the Beis Yosef, you're allowed to make business out of the fruit. If you go according to the Mabit, we're not allowed to make business out of the fruit. The third Nukuda is Sfichin, like we spoke, to, we spoke about it before. Sfichin is anything that's grown on the seventh year, you're not allowed to eat. So if it's grown, according to all the opinions, it says if it's by a non-Jew, it, even though it's holy, there's no such a thing as fichim. Those are the three differences between the two um, big uh, sages. And one more thing is called beer. Beer, what is beer? Beer means that if, if in, the, in the field the fruit is finished, the season of the fruit is finished growing. So if you have in your house a type of fruit, you have to mevaere. What's mevaere? Lahafkir. You have to get rid of it. You have to let everyone take it. And um, and the most famous example is if a person buys a lot of grape juice in Israel, bottles of grape juice on the seventh year, so, yeah, next year, Erev Pesach, you'll have to mafkir it, you'll have to get rid of it. Shkoyach. 